I've always had a violent heart. And I struggled with it for a long time, but then the world ended and I was shown the truth. Right. By God. No. By cordyceps. <laughs> All right, Last of Us, Episode 8, When We Are In Need. This is the part two. This is the in-depth recap. Yes, We're going to go, for, uh, we picked a couple scenes. We're going to dive into. Max, how you feeling this fine, I guess, Wednesday? Is it Wednesday yet? It will be Wednesday. <laughs> In an By hour. By the time we're done with this, it'll be Wednesday. <laughs> this is Wednesday Deep Dive. The latest episode of The Extremists. Don't forget that. We've been rebranded. Yes. For those. So if you see a new, you know, bright yellow icon on your device, wherever you consume your um, podcast, that is us. You're yeah. still going to get lots of uh, The Last of Us. Even after the season's over, we have a couple of episodes that we've kind of um, already put in our books that we want to make after the season's over. Yeah. And we're doing Mandalorian. Yeah. Um, we're going to do Severance. Yes. Um, and some other cool stuff. And we'd love to get feedback. If there's any show that you would want um, us to do, um, join our Patreon. Let us know there. Um, or um, subscribe to our Twitter. Yeah. Where, where we love getting information there. Yeah. All right. So we've got some... Housekeeping? we got some housekeeping. Yes, sir. Take it away. So... Um, there was a lot of the episode that was directly from the video game. We'll, we'll touch on that. We'll let you dive deep there because your, your wonderful responsibility is the joy of playing the game over. I'll be playing the game again after the season's over. Right. Um, but we had a great question that I wanted to bring up to you from one of our faithful, uh, followers, Aaron Blondie Sheep. Think about this. This is, I, 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 when, when she sent this, it had me thinking too, um, in a nutshell, do you see um, something in Ellie being a leader? Because this is the, in this episode, this is the second time in consecutive episodes a character has brought up her as a leader. If you remember, um, the Fedra Captain Kwong brought it up in her his wonderful speech. Right. Right. And then David brought it up as well. Um, and she mentions Aaron is like a big game gamer right she played both games right. multiple times and you know in her own words she's she, you know the game portrays ellie as a fighter a hunter she's strong she's clever determined those are great qualities but it never a leader never came out uh, in that character in the game but here they've referenced it a couple times do you think to her question do you think it's just them you know stroking her ego to make that her feel like some trust or or is do you think the TV show will develop her into some kind of a leader down the line? Something that might not be in the game. Right. What, what, what's your take on that? I mean, I don't know. I don't see it, to be honest with you. Like, at least <laughs> from what I've seen from Ellie so far in the show. Yeah. I don't see her being a leader. She's more, I mean, she's demonstrated or she's demonstrated being more of a lone wolf than anything else and mm -hmm. someone who doesn't want to follow rules. And yeah. you know, it's I don't know, that seems very far fetched to me. And I don't know. I mean, it's it's weird because obviously when we put, because there's a, there's a poll that we have when David's talking to Ellie that we're going to mm -hmm. listen to. Clearly he actually sees something in her as far as like, you know, like leadership equal, all that kind of stuff that he talks about. Um, whether he's trying to, I don't even want to say it on mm -hmm. like, you know, because he's, you know, he's clearly a pedophile, yeah. but he sees something in her that maybe that might be something that they're trying to push but it's not coming through right now yeah i i mean i i, I could see that but for me it could possibly be they're dropping some seeds for her to maybe have a bigger role in in either jackson or 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 something that's pretty not in the game because for me i don't see her as a leader because she has those bouts of anger when psycho ellie comes out and right. you, you don't want that in a leader like leaders 
an ideal leader. We'll talk about leadership with David um, and the correlation between her and Kathleen, two really bad leaders we've seen so far in this show. Um, right. Leaders usually should be even keeled. You know, don't get too high. Don't get too low. Don't be too emotional because that will sway your right. weaker followers. They also got to be a little bit uh, charismatic. Yeah. She, um, well, Kathleen, she, Kathleen really wasn't. No. But David definitely is. Ellie's charismatic, man. I mean, she could be charismatic with Are we her. Talking, you when? Know, with her, with her quick, witty, she's she's quick and quick and witty. And when you're quick and witty, you can develop as she gets older to being a little bit more charismatic. Because she's one, she's not afraid to talk, which is very important in 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 charisma, right? right. Um, because if you're too introverted, obviously you're not going to be very charismatic. So she she's right now she's charismatic in terms of a 14 year old because her subject topics are are stupid. But as she gets older. There could be something there, but I think her anger is really her anger issues is really the issues for me in terms of leadership. But it's definitely different. It, they're going on a different path. If they decide to do that, then the game for sure. I don't think anger issues or her anger has nothing to do with it. Because look mm -hmm. at the look at the two people we just compared her to with Kathleen and David. Yeah, those two people clearly have anger issues. Yes, and but yet they control they're, it. They're not going breaking glass in front of people or, and and having emotional breakdowns outward you can be there's you can be angry and you can be vindictive and you could be evil but you can control it you don't have ridiculous outbursts you, you understand what i'm saying like there right. are some really bad leaders in the world that have done horrendous things and they are more controlled you you can still be angry but in under control anger does that does that you understand what i'm saying like her outward bursts is is not leadership kind of thing you can be angry behind closed doors you can be fuming inside but don't show it show it with with you know the way you direct your people rather than you know breaking glass okay that was, <laughs> you're not buying it no i'm not i'm not i don't understand why why these two care why in these last two episodes people thought of her as a leader yeah She's never led anything. She seems to be following every single person. The only time she, like... She's even, still young. She's still young, but at the same time, I wouldn't... I mean, no, there's no... I'm leaders. not following her if she was a leader, but she does have some leadership traits. All right, I think we've... Let's, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> the, the other thing, we looked up that restaurant, Todd's uh, Todd Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Couldn't find it. It's probably something just for the game. T-O-double-D. In, they're, they're in Silver Lake, Colorado. I don't know. That, it's such a generic name. You know, there's this Todd Steakhouse in L.A. They're all over the place. I bet, you, the I bet you there's a good commercial for Todd Steakhouse. Oh, no, I got a good commercial for something else, but that's okay. for the L.E. meter. Okay. Down the line. Any, any, any housekeeping before we No, I think deeper? that's it. Now, let's, cool. let's, let's, let's jump into the scenes. All yeah. right, so we, we got a couple scenes we pulled. Um... Office, okay, so the first one we got is uh, the conversation that Ellie and, and uh, David are having uh, while they're waiting for James to come back with the meds. So okay. this is, I like the scene, so let's listen. There's no such thing as luck. No, I, I believe everything happens for a reason. It does. It does, I can prove it to you. Okay. We didn't expect this winter to be so cruel. Nothing will grow. Game's been hard to find. So I sent four of our people to a nearby town to, to scavenge what they could. And only three of them came back. And the one that didn't was a father. He had a daughter just like you. And her dad was taken from her. Turns out he was murdered by this crazy man. And get this, that crazy man was traveling with a little girl. You see? Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. This is your thing, Max. Everything happens for a reason. What? It's bad luck for Ellie. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, it, you know, it's, it's written for it to be a nice, you know, clean connection. Right? Right. Joel kills, well, James, David, sends the group out. What were they going out for? Just scavenging? Well, because they can remember because they're eating each other. Yeah. So they yeah. need to get some supplies. They're, they're looking for food. He doesn't want to keep eating 
I don't know, know. I don't know about human that. meat. I don't know about that. He was he was eating that that bowl of daddy really well. Like he was he, he was like bowl cringy. Of daddy too. He had his a bowl big bowl. His bowl was yeah, bigger. He had the big piece of chicken on, yeah. on that meal, right? Yeah. So you know he sends them out. Right. The the guy attacks Joel. Joel kills him. Right. right? Yeah. Now the you know he, he's he they go back out to go hunt for food again. Runs into Ellie, who they're looking for. Right, it, it just it's just it's just perfect. It, there's no such thing as coincidences. Well, right? at the same time, it's not like Ellie. They, they didn't go far. It's not that they could go far. That's right. Yeah, yeah he pulled far. the bat out. You so know? it was still in the same <laughs> yeah, the same in, area, the same vicinity. Yeah. So, so I mean, it's not bad luck. It's just you know, it's <laughs> no it's, the probability of the say. no no no. It, there's not a lot of people left in the world, so the probability they're going to run into them sure. here in the same area, the same town. Right. You know, it's just the timing of them going hunting at the same time as she went hunting. Right. That's where it was like really, really right. cool. I just thought it was, it, this scene was interesting because it's, it with the conversation they were having, it seemed like David was kind of like swaying her a little mm-hmm. bit as far as like, oh, David's a good guy. You know, he's a preacher. He was a teacher. Now he's a preacher. You know, he didn't do it because it started rhyming. It was because, you know, it he was kind of demonstrating being a good person to her. And then he has to flip that switch a little bit by going, I know who you are. Yeah. Right. Where if he wanted to play it out even farther, it could be like, here's your meds, you know, yeah. you know what? Here's some meat. Here you and go. Just follow Let him. me know if you need anything. And then yeah. just, yeah, just be a creeper. He's already a creeper. Yeah. Kind of follow her to the house. And for the viewer, and think about it from this point of view, from the viewer, That's bad leadership for right the there. viewer who hasn't played the game. Right. <laughs> right. At that time, you're thinking maybe he is really a religious person, right? Because, you know, it's like God set this all up perfectly for him that, yep. you know, that he, you know, he's able to find the the people who killed, you know, Hannah's father, right? Right. So you, you at that point, you're thinking, oh, the preacher is talking about divine intervention here to make them meet. So, you know. At that, at, for the for the viewer who hadn't played the game, you're, you're kind of thinking you could you could think that, right? Right. Yeah. So, okay, but really cool. All right, so let's talk about the next scene. Okay, so this one is um, let me set it up really fast. So David and James are now with their group, like they have four other people yeah. with them. They're coming back to town to kind of hunt down Ellie and Joel, yeah. right? And so, I think this. I mean, this is. I think what James says is interesting and kind of shows what place he's in as far as like the mindset that he has. So let's just listen. Stay alert. This man's not already dead. He's dangerous. What about the girl? We bring her back with us. I don't mean to question your sense of mercy, David. We can let her go. But we bring that girl back with us. She's just another mouth to feed. If we leave her out here, she'll die. Yeah, maybe that's God's will. So I think it's interesting because James, you know, he's like, I don't want to question question your sense of mercy, mm-hmm. right? So he believes... He's a th- believer. No, I think he's a believer, but he also believes that, that David's just a good guy. He's a good person, considering, like, he knows that... I mean, he's obviously in on we're, we're actually chopping people up, we're eating them. Mm-hmm. He must have seen some, like, you know... I guess some signs of him being a creeper, I would think. No, I think it's the, the other way around. You think he's I think you think he's, he's held his cards that close to his chest the entire time for twenty years that he's never showed some creepiness? No, yeah. I mean he's a teacher. Like the, the people people didn't realize that he's teaching kids and he's a pedophile, right? But I think James is one of those, you know, religious zealots. Like he he sees his priest pastor as a pure connection to God. That the guy hears God, and because the way he phrased that, that is, I, I you know, I, I grew up in the church, right? Right. The way he phrased that, only extreme religious people talk like that, right? No. So he sees David as pr- probably a direct line to God. So I'm gonna follow David's word, but he doesn't, you know. Though. But he, he does. He does. He's gonna. He's about to kill Ellie because the guy told him, like, just do it. Like he had. So he's, it in so him. he's the ultimate follower. Where, yes, ran, where random Joe B next to him goes, oh, "Why'd yeah. you shoot him?" Yeah, like he, not that he he has the urge to do it, right? Like, um, I don't want to equi- get too philosophical religiously wise, but he's about to sin, quote unquote, right? In his sure. in his mind, he wants to do it. 
sin right. is always okay. good, right? It, yeah. it, when, when you're when you're doing it, it's after the fact. You're like, damn, I shouldn't have done that. So he's about to do it, and the guy, he, the guy he was with, kind of sees it and says, "Just do it," like because he was rage, he was deciding at that moment, right? Right. And then the guy gave him the final push, and then David comes as his spiritual leader, and, whoop, and that kind of gets him to reset himself and go back to being that pure follower to me james is he, he if david says jump he's jumping because he is he sees david as the if david said it god told me to do it that's how i see james as that's why that's why he's followers okay. like that he, he think about it like he james would have been one of those knights templars who who went out to do the crusade right you know will kill pillage do whatever he's doing because he's doing it in the name of god he is a religious extremist that's how i look at him okay to be killing and eating people like which is not biblical but he david must have told him i had a vision from god this is how we're going to survive then he'll do it that's how i see james he's that kind of follower uh is my take too far no that's far pretty open? compelling we're just going to go with you <laughs> Go ahead. Let's All go right. to the next scene. Let's go to the next scene. All <laughs> right. So I'm just going to play this. Let's yeah. listen. I can see how much you care about him. So I know it hurts. But even so, you got to face reality. That part of your life, it's ending. And what I'm offering you is a beginning. But if you can't find a way to trust me, then yes, you are alone. So that's David talking to Ellie when she's, uh, you know, she just woke up from her nice nap after falling off the horse. And he's, I don't think he's actually preaching to her. He's just basically just kind of like, kind of boxing her in a corner a little bit, don't you think? As far yeah. as with his words, kind of making her, feel, like, trying to give her the impression that, that, she, that he's really her only way to survive. I like that, yeah. And it's in, it's I I think it's interesting because the the conversation that they have I, that follows this is him looking at her supposedly you know I don't want to ruin the next clip you know but that that we're equals right mm -hmm. so first he tries to box her in a corner by making her feel like this like the only way I could be safe is with you or with with him whatever but then comes back and says you, we're we're alike you know I see myself in you I I I'm I'm surrounded by sheep yeah now I need you. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, no, you know what? I I, to I totally see that because maybe that's his tactic. That's how he got all these zealots to follow him, and maybe that's how he gets young people too. Because you know, when you're getting young people to you know to take advantage of them, as it could it, it could be his tactic, the like that codependency. But let's listen to the next scene because yeah, it all ties up together. Let's well. do that. Yeah, yeah. You see a lot, so do I. And you know what I see when I look at you. Me. You remind me of me. You're a natural leader. You're smart. Loyal. Violent. You don't know anything about me. But I do. If I let you out of that cage right now, put that knife of yours in your hand, you'd stick me in a second. You have a violent heart. And I should know. I've always had a violent heart. So I kind of pulled <laughs> back. Voice. Maybe maybe uh, the first conversation was plan A mm -hmm. to try to get her on, get her on his side. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, plan A didn't work. Let me come <laughs> back in now with plan B. Yeah. So now it's like, first I was trying to scare you a little bit, uh, back you into a corner. That didn't work. That didn't work. So now I'm going to come back and go, oh, no, 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 we're equals. He's using I see a lot of me and can, you. Right. right. You know. But he does pull the violent heart thing, which we talked about last episode. Yeah. Where... He sees a violent heart in her because I have it in myself, whatever the case. But we've been talking about that the entire show, how this Ellie seems a little unhinged compared to the Ellie in the, in yeah. the video game where she definitely does have a violent heart and they mm -hmm. actually do address it yeah. in a way in the show. Yeah. I, I, I can see that. Like it's one cycle trying to relate to another cycle. Like let's be cycles together. She's not. I mean, we've been calling Ellie a psycho through this entire not. show. No, this dude is a this psycho. This dude is this dude. He's a issues. gross psycho. Yeah, this dude. He's shooting his shot. He's trying to find any way to bring her 
to to be his i don't know his, i don't know what thing. like what's the end game here like is he gonna marry, marry her he's yeah. gonna marry the 13 year old yeah and the sheep will follow this of course james would have been okay with that they man i'm surprised he already he doesn't have already three or four wives i'm, I'm serious i'm surprised hannah's not his already uh I, I, that's that's who he is that's the kind of guy he is you know he can use his his religious power over these sheep right. to 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 declare and manipulate any verse in the Bible he wants to 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 get his point across because he's he's not religious at all he's 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 a wolf you know leading sheep right yeah he says that yeah 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 okay well <laughs> all right all right so the last scene I've got um is really the last dialogue in the in the show itself it's when uh ellie comes out of burning down todd's steakhouse mm -hmm. and she runs into joel so let's yeah. listen it's me it's me it's okay it's okay it's okay baby girl I got you. Baby girl. He says, baby girl. Yep. So now it's definitely They've come a long way. Yeah. We and we said this last episode, yeah. but I wanted to play this scene. Um he now thinks of her as a daughter, and she definitely thinks of him as a father. Yeah. And, and so now it's that bond is complete. Um and, and at and think about it from this point of view, he's he's comforting her just based off of her reaction. He has no idea that she was about to get eaten, that um, he was, she was about to get raped. Yep. And she just butchered the guy with a cleaver, you know, yeah. repeatedly all while in a burning building. No, she just killed That's a lot. Well, she just killed two, two people. people. Yeah. Killed two people. Yeah. You know, we don't know where everybody else went. Them. They're all taking a nap somewhere. Yeah. They're no, 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 no. They, they're, they're, they're taking care of their bowel movements from eating daddy. Maybe, or before? they decided to learn how to fish. No, that's not happening. <laughs> There's a fishing class next <laughs> oh, door. Those idiots don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I can't, they're, they're not going to survive past past the winter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not now that now that uh, Big Daddy's the, gone. The two cannibals are gone. Oh, Big Daddy's gone. Yeah. No, but it was it, it it was it was it was good to see. I, I like the fact that you know they kept showing you Joel like he's going to be the one to save you know you saw him run out of there you're thinking oh he's gonna see the burning building and come and save but no ellie can handle it he you know yeah she could take care of she's evolved a lot in this episode she right. hunted she 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 engaged what was it five guys didn't die and she took care of these two it was six guys actually it was six right it was six it was, i was wrong yeah, yeah. the first my first count was wrong yeah yeah yeah. so it's pretty good um you know this was, I mean, overall, this is one of the better episodes, even though it did feel rushed. A yeah. lot, a lot of stuff happened in this episode. Yeah. Um, the pace was, 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 was up there. The pace was up there. Like, I, I still stick with, it would have been good to have two episodes for I this. totally agree with if you. If you give KC two episodes. You could have easily you make a, and you And you add a new character uh, for, or you added two new characters in KC um, for the, for television. Perry and Kathleen. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't understand why you wouldn't take, you know david and james and give them a two episode arc or something like that yeah. but i mean not arc but you know what i mean it just it just felt rushed but at the same time i i do think the end result was the good result you did see that evolution of ellie yeah. kind of like not being a leader mm -hmm. but being able to handle herself without joel and she you know she barters for some medicine she holds her own yeah even though they kind of they, they allow her to do that it wasn't you know but she comes back she takes care of Joel. Um, she knows that there's people hunting for Joel. She comes back again, prepares Joel, yep. lets Joel know what's happening, but then tries to hide him, tries to lead She's the people done away. So much, yeah. Obviously, it doesn't work out. She gets captured, but she escapes on her own. On she, her own. She kills the number one and the number two over and at Todd's burns, steakhouse. And, and burns the steakhouse and down. And burns the steakhouse down, right? <laughs> and so, I mean, and without Joel, really without, without Joel. Joel. So, this is a good segue. For our sponsored section, okay, our Ellie Meter, mm. th which this uh, this episode of Ellie Meter is sponsored by, we all have overindulged in a bowl of daddy from time to time that leads to nausea, diarrhea, and an upset stomach. Well, there is relief for everyone in this post-apocalyptic world with James' holy 
follow your meal Pepto. We'll follow your meal no matter <laughs> what it is, just like how James follows David. That's James's holy follow your meal Pepto. Ellie meter time. <laughs> you didn't like that one? <laughs> or I pulled that one too far out? No, it's okay good. That one? That's good. <laughs> you got to follow up daddy with something, right? So oh, I don't, Ellie meter for you. <laughs> last last we left, Ellie was still at seven, but you just ran through a, a gauntlet of things that she's done that she did really well this episode. Yeah, are you bumping up Ellie's your Ellie meter here? So okay, I need to be clear on the Ellie meter really fast. Am I yeah. bumping Ellie as the character? Yeah, or are we bumping Ellie? Are we talking about Ellie as she's being portrayed? Uh, by um, no, just a character in the show. Okay, because it's two different characters. It's almost it's 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 unfair to to try to say she has to be exactly like the character in the video game because that's not their intention. No, it's definitely not their intention. You know, sure. they want to make this. Yeah, this is the character for this show. This is you know, like they said, they want to expand on the character. The character is going to lead in the same path as the show, but this is a standalone. This is her her re- portrayal. Of the character, right? If that makes sense. Um, I mean, she did a lot of things in this episode. I feel, I mean, some are exactly from the video game. I know some are exactly from the video game, and I don't know. There's still like this little. I mean, I'm just still like a little annoyed by her, but because her character went through a lot of shit in this episode, yeah, I'm gonna give her another point. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm gonna bring her to an eight, right? So she went from seven to an eight. Um, and I and I think it's generous. Like I don't know why it's generous. I can't believe you're hesitating like this. I am hesitating, and I and I I wish I wasn't. I really wish I wasn't. This is Are the problem. Kidding? This is the problem that I've never had before with it because we've okay. never we've never had this issue yeah. before watching something on film or television that's not verbatim, An adaptation. Not for not a not a verbatim ab- uh, adaptation from the actual video game. There's mm-hmm. obviously some differences, but. It's a really good, I mean, it's a really good video game and it's a really good show. Yeah. So it's kind of like I, I'm pulled in one way and another way throughout this entire thing. And I really wish I wasn't. Yeah. If there was no video game and I was watching this. Yeah. I don't know. Like I would probably, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just giving it an eight. I'm gonna, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm just going to stop. That off. heifer survived cannibals. What did you just say? <laughs> She survived. It, it, it's a term of endearment. I'm using it here. Okay. She survived cannibals, a burning building, a raping. She she protected Joel. She did. Okay. She did. She even was clever enough to try to hide him right. behind that you know that chinaware. Right. I mean, dude, this is she did a lot this episode, man. She did. All right. She I even th- and then and then even her basic survival. She these idiots can't hunt and fish. She goes out and within 20 minutes finds a rabbit and this kills is true. A, we a talked deer about this. That's right. Very well. And then. When, so is, when that, she, is that a testament to how good she is, or is that yes. a testament to how dumb the other people are? Both. And then when she corners <laughs> James and David, you know, when James leaves, notice she 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 has the wherewithal to empty both rifles. That's true. Like that is those little subtle things. Is like she's she's been listening. Whether it was at Fedra Camp or it was um, Joel, she did a lot of little things in this episode. But is she annoying that, when she's doing it? She's fourteen. I've I've completely changed on the character in the last couple of episodes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She, yeah. I'm. 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 I'm so I, I'm this at, one I'm really eight. made. Where are you then? If I'm at an eight, where are you, dude? I'm probably at at least an eight and a half to a nine. I was really impressed with Ellie in this episode, especially after how much I hated the last episode. But she she did she did and and the way if anything I should have docked it, points for the last episode. No, she started changing for me with the whole Sam, the way she interacted with Sam and tried to. Save yeah, th- him. That's I remember when that. it started that, changing for me. That, same, same here. And same then here. this episode took it over the top for me. Like she, she's, she's kind of winning me. She's kind of have has won me over. Is that a tear in your eye? Oh man! <laughs> wow! I can't believe you. Like you're struggling to give her a point. Oh man! All right. So we gave her the. Po- I gave her the point. She's an eight. For me, you give her an eight and a half to a nine. Pick yeah. one. You can't you can't eight and a half to a nine. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have the courage of my conviction. She's a nine. Jesus. Strong nine. 
Go Ellie. I'm pulling my back. She did She's all a seven that. Now. She did all that without Joel. Joel stumbling around looking at corpses and horses, and she's taking care of James and David. It's looking for Grogu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I wanted to bring up um, leadership, the correlation between David James, the his number one and number two, and Kathleen and Perry. Both Perry and James, complete followers and idiots. You know. To put all no, their now, eggs in the basket, I'm gonna there. give I'm gonna I'm gonna give Perry a pass here because this is the reason why because Perry is in vengeance mode with Kathleen. Yeah, but you because, gotta be some kind of but, some conscience here. Maybe, but at the same time, we never met Kathleen's brother, right? What yeah. was his name? Brian Michael. Michael. We never met him, so obviously he was a great man. They talked about him. Yes. We, we compared yes. him to he could have been like Martin Luther King. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so obviously there was a love relationship that Perry had towards him. So uh -huh. I can see why he's following her around. Not to the point where she's just blindly letting shit happen, but there's I could sense the reasoning why. With James over here, like, I'm going to just, you know, like, I mean, maybe because I just don't, I, there, there's not okay. enough of a background as far as, because if you'd given me two episodes, maybe <laughs> I would have been able to fall, like, no, understand. No, with the, Perry, the, think about Perry. You find the ground literally moving, lifting it underground. Sure. She's like, just don't tell anybody, board it up. Strike. That's a huge strike. Like, no, say totally. something. Totally. And then a bloater is coming at you, right? Bloater. And 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 and, and he his blind you go, I'm gonna go in. I don't know what the hell he was thinking to try to like like but you guys are the leadership. Run away. Live to fight another day. Or live to organize again. She let he let her blind rage and revenge lead to their complete downfall. And again, is blind following. You can't be a complete blind follower. Right. It's going to lead to your end. If you're a true number two to think, you have to at least say, hey, I really don't think. At least James had the, the wherewithal to say it may be God's will that she dies. At least he, he said this. Perry never questioned anything at all. In, in fact, okay. she doubled down with her and says, we're with you. You know, you made the change. So both of them Hold on. were but blind followers. Let's not forget how James died, though. James died by trying to hold Ellie down yeah. while they chop her up into pieces yes, to, to eat. eat her. Yes. After they already have a deer and, <laughs> and they a have horse. a horse. Yes. But that's future meat. It's a long winter. That's future me. They're hanging the bodies, so they're thinking long term. They're both bad followers, and then David and Kathleen, totally bad leaders. David let his, again, it was self-interest. Kathleen was, hit, her revenge led to her death. Complete, I don't want to care about it. There's there's infected everywhere, a bloater's ripping Perry's head off, and she could have escaped, but no, she has to go and kill Henry. And David, his, his, his pedophile ways... Totally like neglect. The building is burning. He still wants to get at Ellie. You know, like like everything he did. Maybe he didn't know the building was burning. Even to killing her. Like, Think about it. Should have killed her. Maybe the people that live at that lodge don't know what fire is. <laughs> That's <laughs> why idiots. nobody came there to figure out why the place is on fire and he didn't leave. Maybe he doesn't know what fire is. <laughs> No, like dumbasses. He should have. He should have had James kill her when he had the drop at that fire. If he sure. was a good leader would have been killed right she would have been dead right there mm -hmm. and if he put his self-interest behind and you know especially when 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 you realize that she's not going to come on board just just kill her like anyway so bad leadership both of them have led to really bad things and the the people they're gonna they're not gonna survive the winter they couldn't even freaking find a deer or a rabbit they're, they're really bad hunters uh, they, those people piss me off <laughs> okay let's uh i want to move into more spoiler territory really fast. So this is a warning for anybody that hasn't seen the trailer for the next episode, uh, doesn't want to talk about speculation or anything else like yeah. that. This is your warning. We're going to move on to that. Go ahead. Okay, so the trailer for the next episode, um, we saw... Season finale. This is season finale. Um, we saw, obviously, a girl in the trailer who's getting uh, chased by um, an infected, right? Okay. The answer is yes. Oh, and, I, th I didn't know you. I no, was I'm, I'm, looking, I'm talking to you. I'm <laughs> I thought it was rhetorical. Okay, so and then we've come to the conclusion that that person is who? Ellie's mom. It's going to be Ellie's mom. So we're going to be dealing with the flashback in this episode. Yeah. And we already kind of made, I made a joke 
not really a joke, but like it's it's we're not going to see any infected in the present. The only time we're going to see an infected is going to be in a in in the you know in a flashback. Yeah, and and the the cat the the actress who plays Ellie's mom, Ashley Johnson, is actually Ellie in the actual in the video game. In the video game. Um, so, so that episode is going to be called "Look for the Light." Right. So I'm mm-hmm. going to speculate that we're going to see. Um, what is her name again? Oh man, Marlene. Yeah, we're gonna see Marlene oh, in the flashback, guaranteed. and we'll see Marlene in the present. Guaranteed. Um, you'll see like I can't even. T- I, I I'm trying to remember the trailer again. I didn't go back and rewatch it before we did the podcast. But did it look like she was pregnant in the trailer? Who? Um. Um. At, um. The the character Ellie's mom. Ellie's mom. Oh yeah, yeah. She's gonna give birth in that episode. So she give birth nine. in that episode, yeah. and that's probably when you're gonna see Marlene take her and then decide what to do with her. Um. I'm I'm kind of wondering maybe. I'm just going to throw this out. This seems kind of weird, but maybe the mom gets bit mm-hmm. while she's giving birth or something like that. And that might be the reason why maybe Ellie is like immune. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, like, That's cool. As long as the umbilical cord is still connected. Yeah. <laughs> Scientifically. <laughs> Scientifically. Okay, yeah. sure. That's just, it's a, I don't know why I was just thinking about that. Like maybe that could be a possibility of why that she's immune, but then you think, cause it, that, I mean, obviously that can't happen that much where like, what do you mean? Oh, that perfect scenario. That where perfect you're, scenario, right when she's giving, giving birth, birth, and then all of a sudden she gets bit, and there's like maybe that. Yeah, and then it's cut off. Yeah, right, th- right then and there. Because that, that would be cool. They never. I don't think they ever touch base, like give a reasoning why Ellie is actually immune to the I fungus. I mean, I can't remember. I haven't played that game in 10, 15 years. Right. I'm. I'm just wondering if maybe this this show is trying to do something. If it's trying to go that far, is to far to give you a reasoning why that she's actually immune. Okay, I'll, I'll buy it. All right. Just seeing that like, sounds, it, it makes sense. Thing. It'll be cool. I don't know if it scientifically works, but it works in my mind. I'll, I'll I mean, buy it. We're talking about fungus that's controlling people. We're worried about scientific stuff right now. That is Dawn, actual. You bringing me it? Crap, dude. Shit. You got to watch the fungus stuff on on uh, knew, uh, Fantastic knew, Fungi. Right when I was talking, I knew you say that. They do that, man. They they take all care. Of, they take ants and crap and make them do all kinds of crazy stuff. That's a that's a real thing. Okay. The fungus take control. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. I just want to talk about that really fast. I want to throw that out there. So if I'm right, I get five points. If I'm wrong, I get negative 12. <laughs> negative 12. All right. So now that we've seen this episode for the second and third time, what's your uh, what's your rating on this episode? Um, If you had to stack it up to the other ones, let's say, you know. It's probably my second or third favorite. Mm, okay. Yeah. I still like that Kansas City episode, um, the second Kansas City episode. The, what is it? Endure and survive. Yeah, because you, still... you got to see a bunch of fungus people running around. Yeah, and it was a off. great, you know, the, the aspect with Kathleen. I I, I really like that. that yeah, I, I did like story, I did like right? the thing with Ellie throughout, as far as like you know, what what you talked about, as far as with her and Sam. And then also at the end when Ellie was, you know, she when Sam tells her that he's infected, and yeah. then she decides to cut herself and then kind of put her blood on his blood, yeah. thinking that maybe they could save her or it yeah. could save him. So I thought that was that was that's still cool. my favorite episode. But this one is probably my second or third, and and you know I, I'm I, I'm not gonna. A lot of people said this was a ten episode. Um, it's I, not, I could I, I could see how people say that, but uh, to me it's it's more of an eight or a nine. Um, I, I'll I give it an I'll eight or a nine. If yeah, it didn't, if give, it didn't it give me that rushed feel to it, yeah, then. You know, I probably would have given it because also in the same because I didn't do a lot of comparisons in this episode with the video game because I actually didn't get a chance to go back and replay it. I just remember there was a lot of you know, controlling Ellie, and then mm-hmm. I believe you then you control Joel trying to get in, then it goes yeah. back to Ellie, and then maybe that's what's throwing me off as far as not giving it a higher score, maybe feeling like it is rushed. Yeah, um, it, 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 yeah, and but, and to me, I, I it's hard for me to give a ten because you know. Game of Thrones, those there are some episodes that were just like flawless, and I I can't compare this to any of those. Shouldn't to be tens. You shouldn't. And and same thing. There were some episodes of Breaking Bad that were pure tens. It's hard to compare this episode to those. Does, so does uh, Walking Dead Terminus get a ten? Oh. If you put all those episodes together in a Terminus, yes. would you give it a ten? Yeah. Yes. Because so when they now, had them over and they were bashing their heads in right uh, then and there, that was just like like the tension was already built right off the so bat. So you, you could compare that. Was the, was this better than that? Mm, no. No, the answer is no. 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 No, it's not a ten. No. It's not a ten. I'll give this I give it an eight. Yeah, it's an eight or a nine. If I if I watch it a third time, maybe I'll bump it up, but it's not a ten. But it's a it's a really good episode. It is a good. Th- episode. This show has had a lot of really good episodes. So yeah, for a first season, I, I'm not complaining. Yeah, 
No, it's 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 good. All right. I think it's going to wrap it for us. Yes, sir. Unless you want to add anything else? We're looking forward to season finale. Yes. Already. Nine weeks went by that fast, man. Can you oh, believe man. That? Yeah. Nine weeks. Well, thank you, everybody, for sticking with us through this journey of uh, Last of Us. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Like I've said before in previous episodes, please uh, share this information with your friends, your your dad, your mom, your wife, your husband, <laughs> your sister, your brother, your dogs, Walker. I don't care who it is. What's that YouTube thing? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> which, by the way, we are going to be putting these episodes on YouTube for everybody who wants to watch a nice... Uh, yeah. We've got a nice little wallpaper. It's animated. That's going to play yeah. along with it. And then later on, we'll start recording some of this. See our ugly mugs. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out our Patreon page. Uh, thanks again. And we will catch you next time. Music composed by Kyle Torme. Additional bed music composed by Jason Zaffrey. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Last of Us, a Rot Your Brain podcast. Subscribe to The Last of Us podcast feed at rotyourbrainmedia.com slash The Last of Us. Follow us on Twitter at rot underscore your brain and support Rot Your Brain Media and its podcast by being a part of this exciting new and growing community. Visit patreon.com slash rotyourbrainmedia.